let's talk some Pittsburgh Steelers trade action here. That's the biggest news, and Brandon Ayuk is obviously all over the headlines, but this is a different one. This is a draft day trade that is right now just a rumor, just a hypothetical toss it out there, but it's gaining some steam. Everybody's talking about it. What's it going to cost and how real of a possibility could it be? And that is a trade between the Pittsburgh Steelers and the Buffalo Bills. Von Miller sparked this the other day by dropping the Brandon Bean walking into the NFL draft day and trading up to go get a wide receiver to replace Stefan Diggs. And everybody starts freaking out. Oh, how far do they have to move up? Are they going to trade with the Steelers? Is that the team to move with? And then 93.7, the fans, Andrew Filipponi, which I know as soon as I mentioned that name, and I think I got a lot of respect for Pony, but I know as soon as I mentioned that name, people are going to say, oh, okay, okay, whatever. He made it clear this was a rumor, but sometimes he knows his stuff, and sometimes he tosses some stuff out there that does come true. This time, it's a potential trade with the Buffalo Bills. He wrote this on Twitter yesterday, X, I guess, quote, rumored Steelers Bills draft pick Draft pick trade to keep an eye on. Steelers trade the first round pick, pick their 20th pick, and a fourth round pick, 98th overall, for the Bills first, 28th, and second, pick 60. Would you make that deal? You're listening to that. You're thinking, okay, Steelers get a first and a second. They give up a first and a fourth. Before we dive into what that would be and how likely of a trade that possibly is right now, which I think it's actually more likely than maybe it seems. Would you make that move if uh, you were the Pittsburgh Steelers? I mean, it makes a lot of sense. The Steelers have a lot of needs to fill, but not a lot of high priority needs. Yeah, you need a center, but the centers, as we've seen, have been falling a lot. So it makes sense that if you can move back and get a third, second round pick, Yep. I mean, that makes a lot of sense there, especially if that ends up being the cost, as we'll talk about for Brandon Ayuk. That way you can keep two second round picks and you can get Ayuk for another random second round pick as well. So I, I think it makes sense for the Steelers if that happens. But again, it all depends on how the board shakes out to that point. If centers start going early, it makes no sense for the Steelers to trade back and potentially lose out on one of the big three or big two, however you see uh, the center class this year. Yeah, I look at it, I agree. I think it depends on who it's there. And I think that's where this conversation starts is. You break down how the Steelers go about trading backwards. And I still remember the first time I was talking to Kevin Colbert nearing draft or nearing the draft. And he explained it to me that the Steelers every year, and, and I'm sure this has changed with Omar Khan, but I would believe the philosophy is pretty much the same. The Steelers every year, right before the draft, create their draft board. It is if we picked a number one, this is who we would select. If we picked number two, this is who we would select. It's not by team. It's by the Pittsburgh Steelers. If they had every need available, and this was their draft board, this is how it would go down. That's how they rank guys. Once it comes to their pick, if they have three or four guys that are ahead of where they where they currently are and maybe two or three behind where they currently are, they feel really good about making a move and trading backwards. Now, for the Steelers this year, I think that's a possibility, but it kind of depends on who's there, and it could also be the other way around. Is it slim pickings? And the Steelers are just looking at it and saying, mm, maybe it's not worth making a move right now or trading, selecting, excuse me, a guy right now. But at 28, it could be a very valuable pick for us and for whoever's still on the board. Now it comes down to what player that is. Graham Barton's the name to watch. Jackson Powers Johnson's another name to watch. Our Marius Mims, obviously. I mean, you could get pretty crazy with the offensive tackles and the centers that are going to be there at 20 and whether or not they're worth the 20th pick or whether or not you should trade back and get them there. Read off a list because this is very important as well. Who picks between pick 21 and pick 28 that the Steelers would have to compete with to make a move or, or to land their guy? The 21st pick is going to be the Miami Dolphins. You would imagine that the center it might be on their trade board or on their draft board, excuse me. Yep. 22nd is Philadelphia, who just obviously had Jason Kelsey retire. 23rd mm -hmm. is Minnesota. 24th is the Dallas Cowboys. 25th is the Green Bay Packers. 26th is the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. And 27th is Arizona Cardinals just before the Buffalo Bills at 28. Yeah, so you got to be thinking that the Miami Dolphins, maybe the Eagles, possibly, I don't know who the, the Minnesota Vikings center is, but it used to be 
It used to be Brian Allen. At one point, it was Mason Cole. I don't know who it is currently. You'd have to imagine that there's guys there. 